Hi everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to another sewing tutorial. Today I will show you how to make this sequin holiday dress. I have a ready to sew pattern from extra extra small to extra extra large sizes. Each size has an individual file with seam allowance guidelines, printing size available in A0, A4 and letter size. This pattern you can download from the website annadetailor.com or by visiting Etsy shop Anna the Tailor. For this project I will use one and a half meters of sequin fabric. Also I will use a viscose lining, thread same color as fabric, satin ribbon one and a half meters and invisible zipper. Also for this particular fabric I will be using tulle to cover up few seams because I don't recommend to use an overlocker for sequin fabric. You also can cover it with a pre-made bias tape or just use lining. I will be using this sequin fabric. Also velvet or satin will work great with this style. I'm using a viscose lining which I recommend to use best because it's a natural fiber with a soft touch to the skin. I recommend to use an old scissors to cut sequin fabric because they definitely will turn dull. Also it's good to use needle for leather, it will pierce the sequin otherwise your needle might break. And here are the details that I have. Front and back bodice, front and back skirt and sleeves. I have also cut lining except the sleeves. Let's start stitching. On the front bodice mark dart ends with erasable pen or chalk. Pin dart notches and stitch both darts. Press darts towards bottom. If you are making dress with sequin fabric, use cotton cloth to cover sequin to protect it from melting. Repeat the same on the lining. Place back bodice details on top of the front with face side inside. Pin shoulder seams and side seams and then stitch. Repeat the same on the lining. And press all seams open. Take the satin ribbon and pin it to the back neckline notches. And then secure it with stitch. Make a stay stitch all the way neckline to prevent it from stretching. And do the same on a lining. Now let's work on a skirt. On a front skirt, place back skirt with face side inside, pin side seams and stitch. Repeat the same on a lining. Press skirt seams open. Now we need to attach skirt to the bodice. Match side seams and pin skirt to the bodice waistline and stitch. Repeat the same on the lining. Press waistline seam down. Join center back seam. Pin it till the zip notch and stitch. Do the same on the lining. Press back seam open. 
Attach lining to the neckline. Pin it matching shoulder seams. Lining has to be 1 cm shorter at the center back. Once pinned, stitch it all the way but leave about 3 to 4 cm from center back. Make a little notches to allow seam to repeat neckline shape. Turn seam allowance towards lining and make an edge stitch to hold seam in place. When making a stitch, don't stitch all the way. Make a back stitches approximately 2 cm from first stitch. Join each sleeve seams together and stitch. From the tulle fabric I have cut 4 cm strips. Attach those strips to the sleeve seam. Pin it all the way and stitch by half a seam. Turn tape inside by folding it in half and wrap it around the seam. Pin it all the way the seam and stitch. Press seam towards back of the sleeve. Join armhole with lining and secure it with stitch. Make a stitch on the sleeve head. Take bottom thread and pull it slightly to make armhole rounder. Pin sleeve into armhole matching side seams and center sleeve notch with shoulder seam. Distribute sleeve evenly and stitch. Take binding and pin it to the sleeve armhole. Fold binding end when starting an overlap at the end. Stitch the binding. Turn half of binding inside and wrap it around the seam. Pin it and make a stitch to secure binding. And here is how it should look like. Take invisible zipper, open it and pin one side first. Close zipper, mark waistline on the other side of the zip, open zipper again and pin other side to the dress. Stitch both sides of the zip. First I am stitching on the edge to secure zipper in place and after I'm changing normal foot to a one side foot and making another stitch close to zipper teeth. Attach lining to the zip, remember that lining is 1 cm shorter. Pin on both sides and stitch by 0.5 cm from the edge. Fold seam exactly on the zipper teeth and stitch that little part of the neckline. Carefully trim corners. Turn out the dress and press neckline and back seam. 
join lining and dress waistline seams, starting from back as far as you can reach all the way to the other back side. Make a stitch to secure those seams together. Match skirt and lining back seams. Pin hem all the way around and stitch as far as you can reach, but leave a small opening to turn out the dress. Turn out the dress and hide the hole with invisible stitch. And press the hem. Double turn the sleeve edge, pin it all the way and stitch it by hand with invisible stitch. Press both seams. Trim ribbon ends and make a double turn, secure it with invisible stitch. And here is the final result. Let me know what you think in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. If you were inspired to make this holiday dress, you can download a PDF ready to sew pattern from my website anadetailor.com or from Etsy shop. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something from it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see more new projects. And I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!